This is the Viscount CM100 module. Of course, down the front, we have a, a choice of 12 different sounds selected from a library of 176. So we have uh, selected here a double open wood 32. We'll turn the volume down a little bit. Contraviol on them. Open wood. Bourdon. We'll turn off the reverb. Contram Bombard, 32. Trombone. Principal. Stuffed flute. Viol de gamba. Which is often used in combination with a viol celeste. Create a string effect. Some mixtures, a wide variety of mixtures. These are some of the stops that you might like to add to your existing organ. Of course, uh, a nice read up top. Or you can embed the whole thing in the console and you can voice them and tune them and integrate them with an existing pipe organ and no one even need know that it is there. So with digital enhancements, of course the first thing that you need is a sound tone generator. So there's the CM100. It can be operated on its own screen independently and or you can add a computer screen to it to do some more extended voicing which we will explore. With digital enhancements, of course, uh, you can use your existing control system for the pipe organ in order to direct it, or, of course, you can use the classic control system. Uh, there are two units. The smaller unit is for the pedal-only packages, and the larger unit is for the pedals and upper voices and so on. Um, so you're going to need the interface box. Other components which are necessary, of course, amplifiers. Here we have a four channel and an eight channel amplifier or a two channel amplifier will can work. Uh, with pedals you need at least two channels and with the upper work you can use up to six channels because the CM100 has six separate outputs. Um, you will need speakers. We've done a lot of research on speakers and one of the, the type of speakers that we really like are the definitive technology speakers. Um, of course the sub bass is very important. There are five different sub basses. Uh, this is two of them. The, the reference and the trinity and you can select uh, several different types of upper speakers as well. Uh, the SM450s are our bookshelf type speaker and uh, very good for re reproducing organ sounds and the BP10s are those long uh, tower type ones and they are uh, what they call a bipolar speaker so the sound emanates from the front and the back and it's, uh, they're excellent for putting in a pipe chamber. So there's your uh, digital enhancement lineup there. We also have a little MIDI keyboard over here just to control things. All right. Um, you will also need cabling, of course, and to install it. And Classic Organ uh, can sell these in component pieces, or we can help you with the entire job. We, we carry all these products. We're going to have a look now with the CM100 
editing software which comes with it and gives you the option of voicing the digital enhancements from a computer screen that simply plugs into the back. So uh, looking at the front here, we've got our, um, our voices here. If we turn that on, it represents, it tells us which, which are the 12 voices that we, that we have are using at the time and, and they're mapped along here. So we can take any of these voices. So here we have selected our principal voice here, uh, which we're, we're going to, to edit now. So first of all, we have volume, of course. Okay, we can change the attack on it. Uh, we can detune it. Uh, we can adjust the character of the sound. itself is, is interesting. Uh, currently we're using a C, C sharp split. But there are various wind chests available. Uh, you can take a left to right so that the sound uh, changes from left to right or from right to left. Okay, we can map out um, a split uh, wind chest or uh, inverted as Case, go back to there. We can change the width and the center point of these. We have keyboard scaling here. We can raise the uh, or lower the uh, the scaling of the instruments so that okay, and, and likewise with the treble. So we have complete uh, control over that and we can save those settings by just pressing store. Okay, we'll go into our next editing. Now there's a lot of things we can do with editing here. We can take any one note, go an octave higher, we can take this A note and it tells us up here which note we've picked. Okay, and we take volume up and down. Okay, we can also take the pitch on that note. You have a lot of fun with this. Okay, we can also uh, use various curves and lines and things to to get a nice uh, flow and how we want to set up set up the sounds and the in terms of the volume and the pitch. To, to mimic, uh, to, to harmonize with the natural instrument, simply being uh, creative and, and again, the idea is to mix it in with the pipe so that, so that nobody knows which is which. Okay, this is for mapping out the different stops. And uh, our setup, finally, uh, we have six different outputs and EQing on each one, volume on each one, reverberation, you wanna be careful with that, um, the tremolos, and speeds and so forth. So that's the CM100.